This is everything you need to know about crypto airdrops today. Let's not waste any time and start right off with the parcel airdrop on the Solana network. Yesterday evening, they confirmed that the final snapshot before the token airdrop has happened, the leaderboard is finalized and a bunch of people either got loyalty boosts or lost points for being flagged as Sybils. Now there was this whole thing about people referring themselves to Parcel with multiple wallets and then getting flagged as Sybils. And if you log into your Parcel account, see that you have been marked as a Sybil and have lost points because of that, you still have an opportunity to appeal. They said right here that if your wallet has been flagged for ineligible activity, you can submit a dispute. And if you want to do that, you can go and join their Discord and submit an inquiry. And which the airdrop for this one is definitely going to be coming through very soon, probably this week, I would imagine, maybe early next week. They haven't actually confirmed. But either way, congratulations to everybody that has finally secured their position on the leaderboard. And again, if you have been flagged as a Sybil and have lost points, definitely go and dispute that in the Discord if you think it was an error. All right, let's move now to the Swell network. So as we've talked about before, Swell is launching their own layer two for restaking, and they just enabled pre-launch deposits. So the Swell layer two isn't actually currently live, but you can already deposit into it pre-launch if you want to earn bonus eigenlayer points and also bonus points for the Swell airdrop as well. Now, I'm not gonna leave the link to the Twitter thread because as you can see, the second post in this thread here is actually from a fake account with a drainer link, but it's this first one that is the legit one. And if we go to Swell's official page, you can see the list of all of the different tokens that are available to deposit. So you can actually deposit the alt layer token, a bunch of tokens from EigenPi. You can deposit EtherFi staked ETH, Lido staked ETH, Easy ETH from Renzo, Stone, and then obviously, of course, Swell restaked ETH or Swell liquid staked ETH. And if you want to earn a portion of the 1 million eigenlayer points, it makes sense to get in as early as possible. So this just launched today and it's going to be live for four weeks. Now, I do think that Swell is an awesome project. It's super legit. I've been farming the Swell airdrop for probably over a year at this point or something along those lines. The only issue is that I'm getting stretched a little bit thin here with all of these different airdrop opportunities. However, if you do still have some ETH on the mainnet because you have to deposit this from Ethereum mainnet, and then I think it is a decent way to farm multiple airdrops at once with Swell, Eigenlayer, and also potentially one of these other LRTs if you're using EtherFi or Renzo staked ETH. And if you're sitting on just a pile of ETH that you're not sure what to do with it, you can actually go and restake it directly with Swell and then bridge it over to their new L2 or rather pre-deposit it. And then you'll have to bridge it later once they actually launch the layer two. And for me personally, I might deposit an ETH or two into this because I do think it's gonna be solid. But obviously I understand that at this point, people are probably getting stretched pretty thin and you can't just put endless amounts of capital into every airdrop opportunity that comes up. Next up, if you received the Saga airdrop yesterday, the team has confirmed that the first snapshot for Saga stakers will be in the month of April. And like I've said with previous airdrops like Dimension, if you stake your tokens on day one, you can't possibly miss any snapshots. So if you aren't selling the Saga token, you plan on holding it for a little while, it definitely makes sense to stake it. And if you're thinking of staking it, it makes sense to stake it ASAP. Next up, if you claimed your have a coin airdrop, which is a new Cosmos meme coin, you can now actually go and check your wallet to see the balance. The claim for this one was a very short 24 hour window. You had to go connect your wallet and claim it. And I got 1.2 million HAVA tokens in this wallet. In terms of what you can do with it, so far they haven't actually enabled a liquidity pool on osmosis swaps. They do have a staking pool that's open and you earn a ridiculous APY. I'm probably just gonna stake it honestly because I feel like this is gonna be worth like $5 anyways and I'm not too worried about losing it. Some meme coins are actually solid airdrops and some you just have a feeling aren't gonna be worth much and I have a feeling that the have a coin is the latter. Next, from the scroll team, they posted this today suggesting that you should use their native bridge. Now I have spoken about this many times in my full in-depth tutorials on how to farm the scroll airdrop, but in case you haven't seen those or you just have no idea what I'm talking about, you should use the native bridge to go from Ethereum mainnet to the scroll L2 at least one time. And you should also do this with every other L2 that you're farming. I'm talking about Zora, I'm talking about ZK Sync, Mode, etc. They are basically confirming and telling us that this is going to be some sort of multiplier or qualifier for the scroll airdrop. So if you haven't done this yet, 
definitely go and do it, especially now that Ethereum gas fees are super low. This is the perfect time to bridge using the official bridge. All right, next up, the zero airdrop for zero lend has been confirmed for April 29th TGE, but they posted this long blog post today outlining how this is gonna go. And I have to say, this is getting a bit ridiculous. The way that the zero lend airdrop is gonna go is they have three voyages with three chapters each. So that means nine chapters in this zero gravity airdrop, which is starting to give me flashbacks to Linea. Now granted, the supply of the airdrop is much more heavily weighted to the beginning voyage and it gradually tapers off. So I would say it makes sense to at least participate in voyage one. And in terms of the timeline, voyage one starts tomorrow. There's gonna to be a 5% airdrop on April 29th and then the next airdrop will be 3% and then 2% and I suppose it keeps going down from there. So the first voyage is a total of 10% and in order to qualify for this, what you need to do basically is deposit assets on the zero lend platform, borrow assets against that and complete the other tasks that they have available in their zero gravity airdrop campaign page. Now personally, once I get my allocation for this one, I'm probably gonna get out of there because I am sick of these ridiculous voyages, nine chapters in three voyages. All right, next up, if you are farming the Milky Way airdrop with Milk Tia, especially if you're holding Tia on the Arbitrum L2 or on the Dimension network and you're providing liquidity in Dimension pools, for example, with the staked Tia from Milky Way, then you should go and connect your Ethereum and your Dimension wallets today to the Milky Way application. And this is just to make sure that you get your full points and your full allocation of the airdrop from Milky Way, including assets that you're holding on Ethereum or EVM chains and also Dimension. All right, let's move now to Debridge Finance. So yesterday they announced the launch of their points system and Ibrahim on Twitter posted a solid thread on the best way to maximize points for the Debridge Finance airdrop. I'm gonna throw a link to this down below, but the TLDR is that you should be bridging small amounts of ETH, and it looks like the best in terms of the cost per point is using 0.01 ETH, which totally makes sense because if you bridge larger amounts of ETH, the amount of points that you get relative to the cost actually goes down. So if you're still interested in farming this one, I think there is a window of opportunity, maybe for a couple of months. And if you wanna take a look at this strategy, I'll throw a link to this guy's thread down below. Next up, if you wanna farm a Redstone airdrop, which is a new price Oracle competitor to Chainlink or Pyth, they have a campaign on right now in partnership with Sommelier Finance. And if you wanna participate in this airdrop campaign, you have to use the Sommelier Finance app to deposit ETH, wrap staked ETH or Rocky Pool ETH into the real yield ETH vault. And this is on the Arbitrum network, by the way, so at least the transaction fees will be super low. And if you're doing this, then they also have a Galaxy Quest on with some social tasks and you can mint an oat. Next up, if you are farming the Uprock airdrop, which is a competitor to Grass, it's another one of these decentralized physical infrastructure plays. They're currently not live on iOS. However, you can pre-register for the mobile app version of this for iPhones. And so if you want to go and pre-register for that, you can do so now. Otherwise, if you wanna farm this airdrop on your computer or on an Android device, you can already do that. Next up, Merkle has announced that they are doing an airdrop actually with a massive allocation of 70% of the supply to the community. Now I've spoken about Merkle before. They have these badges that you can mint and then you can complete on-chain tests and social tasks in order to gain experience points and reputation attestations. Anyways, the whole point is that if you collect these badges and then get experience points on them, you'll rank up for the Merkle airdrop. They've got a bunch of badges live for L2s and protocols and apps that we're already farming airdrops for anyways. So this is actually a multi airdrop qualifier. You can do tasks for layer zero and mode and sync swap and linear, et cetera. So far, less than 100,000 people have actually minted these badges. So I would say it is still early. And yeah, 70% of the total supply is going to community members. Next, if you've been farming the Gull Network airdrop and going back daily to collect Gull points, you have eight days to go back to the website now and combine all your points to ES Gull points. So it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go to the website it will pop up and ask you to combine your points and then you can see how many you're gonna get. So make sure that you do this before April 18th. 
Next, there's another incentivized testnet that is live now with the mantra chain. It's in the Cosmos ecosystem. And if you want to, you can go and get an allocation for this. They've got some Galaxy Quests on right now that have relatively few people doing them. Pretty much every time I make a video, I have people asking me about free airdrop opportunities that you can farm. This is a solid one that you can get in on at the ground level. So definitely go and complete these tasks. Next up, Altu Finance launched a tracker for airdrop progress, similar to what Wenser.xyz has. And they have this functionality enabled for a bunch of different networks. However, it does seem to be glitching right now. Possibly too many people are trying to use it at the same time. But Altu Finance is now becoming almost a one-stop shop for airdrop farmers because you can bridge, you can mint inscriptions, you can deploy smart contracts, and now you can actually track your progress for airdrops as well, theoretically anyways, once this actually works. Oh, and they also have a daily check-in feature where you do a simple on-chain transaction, increases the amount of transactions that you have on the network that you're checking in with. You can do this on a bunch of different chains. And so yeah, this is a great airdrop farming tool right here. Next up, if you've been farming the AlienX airdrop, there's a couple of new tasks and one of them is to mint a multiverse arb box on the arbitrum network so if you click on that it brings you to this page where you can mint one of these boxes i highly recommend you do this the mint fee is 0.0001 eth so it's super super cheap costs about 71 cents to mint after gas fees and this will probably have relevance to the alien x airdrop well it definitely will because it gets you points for it but it could have other additional benefits as well and then there's a couple of other things that you can mint one of them is the same transaction cost so 71 cents and the other one is 0.01 ETH, so actually a little bit expensive. Next up, yesterday I showed you how you can use OmniHub to mint and bridge NFTs via the Layer 0 protocol and hit a bunch of different chains to increase your transaction and your smart contract count and also the destination chains. Well, today there's also another feature that you can use on L2 Pass to mint and bridge NFTs to a bunch of chains via Layer 0 as well. Again, a different interaction but they also have a refuel feature. This also routes through layer zero. So if you're looking for another way to get a unique interaction with layer zero and hit different chains, and also it's useful because you can send small amounts to pay for transactions on different networks. Well, L2 Pass is a decent site that you can do that. So that is it for today's video. Hopefully you found this helpful. As always, thanks so much for watching and have a great day.